Argentina sits at the bottom of the world far from many international flight routes. Though it has many economic problems that sometimes make visitors nervous, Argentina is not only fascinating, it is a wonderful country to live in, but you will find out that most things that you will consider illegal in many countries is actually legal in Argentina. As the world becomes increasingly open to the idea of legalizing cannabis, many countries are reassessing their stance on the plants and Argentina happens to be one of them. 60% of Argentinians support legalizing marijuana for recreational use. But as of now, medical use of marijuana is legal in Argentina since 2017, meaning as long as you can obtain a prescription from a doctor, you are allowed to use marijuana in Argentina. This is why it is normal to see people roll their joints or smoke weed in the country without the fear of getting arrested. Another interesting factor is the power of the police and public order situation because it will seem that when the police catch criminals, they release them a few days after they have spent some time in prison. So criminals are not afraid to commit crimes without hesitating. At least, that is what the locals in Argentina are saying. People don't want to go out at night. Look how we are, trapped behind bars. I'm afraid of being shot. It's been four years since I am like this. At night, it's terrifying. You can hear how those who venture to go out are being robbed and who knows what else. People here are using bars to protect themselves. In shops like this one, they won't even allow the customers inside this place. People say that they're tired of being robbed and they're becoming increasingly frustrated with what they say is the authorities' inability to keep them safe. And if you are a resident, can you leave a comment below about these concerns because it would seem that the government thinks these people who commit petty crimes are in need of help or support. And because of that, they are forced into these mistakes of petty crimes. Well, living in Argentina has many things like living in a video game. Times ridiculously fun and exciting and other times filled with obstacles. But one thing is for sure, it's never boring. Argentine beef is the best in the world. The wine is in a class of its own. Argentina's countryside is a spectacular side and they have the best footballer in the world. Ideally for my Ronaldo fans. But did you know in Argentina prostitution, which is the exchange of sex for money, is legal under federal law. Bear with me quickly, if you read the Article 19 of their constitution, it states that the private actions of people that do not offend in any way the public order and morality nor damage a third person are only reserved to God and exempt from the authority of the magistrates. So of course it would explain why advertisement for prostitution or announcement for adult parties can be clearly seen posted on streets corners in Argentina. Now there is even a major organization fighting for sex worker rights called the Association of Women Sex Workers in Argentina in Action for Our Rights, also known as the AMMAR. Now, there are 64 countries that have strict laws that criminalize homosexuality, with most countries having to ban same sex marriages. But if you guess right, Argentina is in one of them. Argentina is a country that is extremely liberal towards the LGBTQ plus relationships. Now, if you're a man or woman, you have the freedom to have whatever sexual orientation you so choose, meaning people have the right to change their legal gender by choice without approval from a doctor or a judge. And if you're wondering, yes, you can request for a change of gender and you are provided with by the state for free without the hassle of going through any sex reassignment surgery whatsoever. It meant the world to activists waiting outside Argentina's Congress building. The country had become the first in Latin America to legalize same-sex marriage. Argentina is extremely cheap for tourists because travelers enter into the country with dollars giving them the ability to afford the most expensive restaurants and hotels in the capital for cheap. It's not surprising the Economist magazine ranks the capital of Argentina, Buenos Aires, in the top 10 of the cheapest places to live. When was the last time you heard of someone to have been deported from Argentina? Argentina has always been described as an immigrant country with very few cases of deportations. Now, there are almost no cases of deportations in the country. It's not surprising people who exceed their visa period still manage to enter into the country illegally. Who knows if deportation laws are even in effect in Argentina, right? Now, this is why people who have problems in their country, such as gender-related issues, you know, war-related issues and all, find Argentina a great country to seek residency permits and citizenship. I'm sure my immigrant friends are excited about this information. Decriminalization of abortion as a law in Argentina was passed in December 2020, which overhauled the country's restriction on abortion. So yes, abortion is legal in Argentina as opposed to many countries that make it so hard for women to exercise their rights in cases of this matter. I mean, in situations of rape or cases where there is threat to the life of the pregnant person, it only makes sense for a woman to be able to decide whether to keep or remove a pregnancy, in my opinion. 
but you can let me know what you think in the comments generally if you like to party live in the moment then argentina would be a great place for you to visit and for me i love to live in the moment and that is why argentina is one of the countries that i love my name is short heritage kindly hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one adios